Although we are in the heat of summer, many of us will soon be planning trips to warmer climates. I'm covering up the birds. WAD's Doug Wolf reports from Decatur. Some I'm of the covering up the smallest, birds. Smallest <laughs> birds will be doing the same thing, you know, heading to warmer climate in just a few weeks. Check it out. Tiny but packed with energy, the hummingbird can be found at neighborhood feeders throughout the summer months in Illinois, with adult males already starting to migrate south. The adult females and the young birds will hang around in full numbers till the middle of September, then start dwindling. The last ones are usually gone by about the middle of October. Vernon Clean is with the Lincoln Land Association of Bird Banders. On Thursday, he joined Decatur Audubon and the Macon County Conservation District at Rock Springs to play small bands on hummingbirds that are captured and released. Banding the birds are done for several reasons. We try to figure out how old they are, how old they live to be, where they go, do they come back again, how many there are, if they had a good successful nesting season. There are 15 species of hummingbirds which breed in the United States, but only one species here in Illinois. We only have one species and it's called a ruby-throated hummingbird. When they migrate, these little birds fly a tremendous distance. These birds spend what we call our winter months of November through March, early, late February, down in Central America from the state of Oaxaca in Mexico down to Costa Rica. They return in the spring, but do they return to the same location? Checking bands in the spring show they do. Caught 215 in one day, 108 were newly banded, 107 were birds banded at that same site the previous, sometime during the previous five years. Vernon has been banding hummingbirds more than 20 years and other birds since 1960. Indicator Doug Wolf, WAND News. Boy, they're fast with those wings. According to publication Birds and Blooms, the ruby-throated hummingbird, common in Illinois, stages in the southern Gulf states. Then they fly nonstop for 500 miles to get to southern Mexico and Central America.